thought I'd join in with some of this name and shaming of bad parking because this one is terrible. Whoops. Okay, so I've got some plans today. I'm going down to Colchester to meet a friend. He's just renovated his kitchen and he said he's got a lot of spare wood. So we were thinking maybe we're gonna make a desk for inside the van. I'm not sure how it's gonna go yet. It's either gonna be a desk where I can lay in the back of the van or I don't know, maybe we were thinking maybe something I can attach to the steering wheel so I could sort of like sit here and do some work. There's not a lot of room. Like I can't move my seat back any further. I don't know, we'll have to sort of figure something out. Like I said in my previous video, I am going back to the office, so I will have somewhere to work, but they're letting us do sort of like flexi time so we can come into the office if we want. We can still work from home if we want. If I do want to work in the van, I, I have that option. It'd just be nice to have that option that I could still work in the van. Anyway, enough of that. I'm gonna go down to Colchester and I'm gonna go to my friends and we're gonna make a, a, make a desk. <music> Hey bro, can I film you? No, your channel sucks. So my mate didn't want his face on camera, which I totally understand. So I did try and take a few shots as it was going along, but you know, after a while, I just kind of felt like I was getting in the way. You know, you just constantly got your phone out, like, oh, let me get that, let me get that. And we just wanted to focus on the build. He invited me over, he's given me his time, so might as well use it, you know, so put the phone away and you know he done a great job he really really did now there was two things that i said to him before we started the build it had to be comfortable and it had to be able to be stored away because this fan is very small and i think we achieved both those things okay i can't really get the shot in the van uh it's too small i've tried every single angle i can't really get like the desk in properly so if it goes a bit dark or whatever i apologize but here it is the desk This is the desk and it works so well. Honestly, it's ridiculously good. Um, it's outblown my, you know, expectations. Um, you know, it, it does everything I need to do. It's really comfortable. Um, we decided to do it on the passenger seat side. So it gives me enough room between me and the desk. And I can sort of lay back a little bit and just sort of do my work. So that's sorted. To tackle the uh, storage solution, we decided to put the legs on some hinges so it can fold away and it tucks away nicely by the side of my bed. Um, it does what it says on the tin, you know? I can sit here all work, I would happily sit here all day and work. It's really sturdy. Like, there's no, there's not a lot of wobble to it. Like I said before, this is my mate's kitchen worktop or cupboards, I'm not sure. But it's good quality wood. I don't, I'm not, I'm not sure what type of wood it is, but you know, it's proper solid. Yeah, I'm just really happy with it, honestly. I, I can't wait to work in the van now. So basically all we did was we used cardboard uh, to make a little prototype, um, just to make sure the height, the width, and the depth was right. It was a lot of uh, test and measure, you know. We kept putting the cardboard in. Does this fit? No, go back, cut a bit off a standing knife, you know, and just kept repeating, repeating until everything was perfect. And then once we got the main table sort of done, there was just a few little tweaks. Like on the side of the passenger door where the desk actually rests, um, it kept sliding off, so we just added an extra block of wood to sit in um, the groove of the uh, armrest and yeah, it just stops it from moving. And because the desk is actually on hinges, when the desk is set upright, it wants to fold to the hinge. So <laughs> to stop that, we just added this little uh, bolt locker just to hold it in place and just something as simple as that just stops it from moving. So yeah, I think we did a good job. As I'm living in the van, there's little things that I'm noticing where I'm like, oh, this could be better or I could change this. So I picked up two of these little baskets, just cheap little plastic things. But I got these to sort out the uh, overhead bulk. You know, it's great uh, to have that space, but at the moment I've just thrown loads of random bits up there so whenever i'm looking for something i'm always trying to reach around trying to find you know one one certain item that i can never find um so i thought a bit more organization up there this could help uh, 
Okay, one fits, and then one does not. Uh, that's annoying. I suppose it can sort of, it can just chill there. Also picked up a air freshener um, that can go on the vent. Now I'm living in the van full time and going to the gym. I'm noticing that my, you know, my dirty clothes are a bit pongy. Um, so it's starting to stink the van up a little bit. Pro van tip, if you have a laundry bag, always make sure it's a bag that's uh, breathable. So this one's sort of like a net. So I always keep mine by the window and I just have the window cracked open just a little bit. Just a little that stink out. And last up is a universal phone holder. Normally I keep the phone on my lap and I'm driving along trying to look down, you know, dangerous, I know. Oh, sugar. How does it stick? Am I just being an absolute bell end and don't know how this works? Sometimes in life you need two hands and uh, trying to hold a camera and do something at the same time doesn't always work. And I picked up some lunch for after the gym. Bastards! Picked up a Ginsters. It's bloody vegan. Why was this with the normal people food? No, I'm joking. It doesn't matter if you're vegan or not. Let's see what it's saying. Mm, it's nice. Oh, I'm not too sure about this air freshener. It's pretty strong. It's got a pretty uh, pungent smell. It kind of reminds me when a teenager first discovers Lynx and they just literally wear the whole can in one go. Whew, it's giving me a headache. 